Well, this one we're going to call a lemonade. It's going to be electric. It's yellow as a lemon. And it definitely needs some aid. It's got potential. I tried to pick up last summer, I think. It's been sitting in the storage box. Figured we'd use it as a test cart. I'll show you how to simple it is to convert the average go kart or fun cart to electric affordably. I'm figuring under four or five hundred bucks, which is still on the expensive side, but way better than thousands like some of them guys on the videos and stuff they're easy simple hopefully without welding and do a little bit of testing show you what they're capable of as I said this cart needs quite a bit of aid looks like it's well worn I've had some fun with it that's uh, what's left of the band brake I guess you would say looks like it had some type of a locking handbrake on it maybe and then uh, there's a disc brake over here and a mount I'm not sure where that comes in with a band brake but maybe that was in a previous life and then also they've rigged up a double set of pedals in the front I guess so it's kid and adult friendly but it's quite some rigging. We'll get some of this junk off of here shortly. But almost all go karts, fun carts have a motor plate here. If you got an old motor on there, take it off and scrap it. So we're gonna use the motor plate that's already on most carts. Some of them's here on the side, some of them's on this side, some of them's right in the middle. But the good thing about electric motors is they're reversible, so it's not a whole lot of work to make it go different ways. Most electric motors have just uh, two wires, a positive and a negative. So if you put the positive to the red and the negative to the black, most of the times the motor will work turn clockwise but if you switch these two and put the positive to the black and the negative to the red the motor will go counterclockwise exactly backwards so it's simple enough to set up depending on the situation but as I said most carts already have a motor mount on there pretty solid so it's best to work off of that but of course the mount on most of these motors, a little 3x5, 3x6 I believe it is, isn't going to mount easily on this, and then it doesn't line up too well, so we need to put it about like so, and then we're going to need an area for batteries, and then the speed controller. So. I think an easy way to accomplish this would just be a plate of steel and maybe a, a bridge across here to help support it. Alrighty, we got our piece of plate steel. It's about an eighth inch thick. And we've got our bridge, which this is about, or the motor mount was about three sixteenths thick, so I grabbed a piece of three sixteenths. For our bridge, be best to put it right to the very edge. Have it overhang just a bit, and we'll cut it off and overhang here a bit as well. And then our motor will be mounted right up to the front edge of the motor plate here. controller and batteries. And a 
good firm surface.